So we need to learn what happens at the galvanic cell and how to draw it. So here we have one. Now you can first, you have to memorize that reduction occurs at the cathode. And so we need to start somewhere. And so we'll start here. And so what you have here is you have two chemical reactions. You have to work out which one's going to happen. So the one that ends up being uh, the most reactive, you'll see from your reduction um, tables later that that's the most positive one also. And it's also, uh, usually it's also in the activity series, the most reactive metal. So this one's the one that loses the electron. And so the other one will naturally be gaining the electrons. And so that's the definition of reduction. So reduction is the gain of electrons, oxidation to the loss of electrons. So this one here, it's lost the electrons. This one here, it's gained the electrons. And so because you've uh, because you've identified that this one here is reduction, you'll throw the two electrodes you know, into this diagram here and you'll have this one labeled cathode. Now, if you wanna know what you start with, I have thrown one up onto a web page. So I've got a blank diagram here. Now you can grab things and sort of guess where things go and give yourself a score. And uh, if you're having trouble, you can have a quick look and then you can reset it and have another go. Uh, and there's one for the electrolytic cell too. Uh, and so you can use that to practice. So you could imagine that you're starting with the blank here and then I'm working to show you how uh, it looks like this. So we first labeled the cathode randomly. It could be on the other side, that would be fine. And I've correctly put the two different half reactions in the correct places. So we can draw the M2 in here. Now, if this is gonna be a standard uh, solution, you, you'll make these one molar, you'll write one molar solutions in each of these as well. Uh, and typically potassium chloride is a good salt bridge. The salt bridge allows it to form cleanly, otherwise a precipitate forms across and it forms its own little wire and has a short circuit and it allows it to continue so that there will be a movement of positive and negative ions in opposite directions to equal the charge that occurs across here. So you can because you know the, ca uh, the cathode is here where reduction has occurred, you also know that this is a galvanic cell. So you know that this is creating electricity. So electrons are naturally flowing over here because you have the electrons joining up to the metal here. So the metal plus the electrons combine over here to form a solid. This will be a solid and this will be aqueous. So because this is a natural system, the electrons are going to be repelled. So this anode here is going to be negative, And so the electrons are repelled and are naturally pushed through and attracted to the other side. So the other side must be positive because it is attracting the negatives, attracted the positives and the negatives are repelled by the other negatives. And so the two plus here is joined up to the electrons to make the solid metal. So this cathode here will get larger and for reference uh, for electroplating, obviously, that must mean that these, maybe the spoon or whatever you're coating in gold, you'll put that at the cathode. So just a further clarification on the salt bridge, um, KCL and any salt can be used, uh, but it is slightly better to use uh, more reactive uh, elements uh, because they're not going to convert back to the most reactive reactive state. It's not going to go to potassium or sodium metal. It'll blow up. So, uh, and the same with instead of using chlorine, chlorine, it is slightly better to use a polyatomic iron because uh, that is uh, less likely to break down and turn into oxygen. Um, negative two negatives and forming oxygen gas here uh, than chlorine is. So, just choosing. Um, chemicals such as sodium nitrate, potassium nitrate are slightly better than uh, the commonly, some other commonly listed salts that can be used for a salt bridge. Now, as you have uh, the reaction going on, there is a charge buildup on either side. So as the positives here um, are taken out, there's a buildup of positive charge as the electrons go up. Uh, so the negative anions will come down on this side. And as the electrons here uh, join up to the positive, the cations here, so with a loss of two plus, so there's a negative buildup of charge on this side. Uh, and so the positive uh, potassium ions will come down uh, to balance that charge. Otherwise, the buildup of charge uh, will create a force that will prevent uh, these, this electrolytic, uh, sorry, this galvanic cell from 
spontaneously continuing 